One week ago, we came here to hang out with our friends and to have a little family vacation in the sun, and it is coming to an end. The four-wheeler is strapped and packed. The van I have packed up this morning. Can't forget the dog, can't forget Pen. But we have everything packed. Kids are all situated and ready to go. Snacks are in our bag. This has been the best bag that I have purchased, by the way. I really like that. And I have to show you these cute, tiny, like look at those little tiny Snickers. They're tiny. Anyway, everything is packed and cleaned and ready to go. Penny, have you guys had fun? Have you had fun with your buddy? They got, these guys have been playing all week, having so much fun. They've been playing tag. They've been playing tag. And you know what, I can tell that you got some sun this week. Your hair looks so much lighter. In the sun. Yep. Sucking up. Sucking up. Go play for a few more minutes. No shoes. Yeah. I just threw the sheets in the wash and we are getting ready to go. Jared is actually, I think, at a McDonald's uploading the video. He has been up to like two in the morning every night and then he wakes up really early. So he is like, because the internet, they've been having a hard time with their internet here right now. So um, Jared, Ginger, and Carl, they're all uploading their videos, getting the place picked up of the mess that we have made. What's up, Luke? Hi. Are the kids being good? Yeah. <laughs> kids are downstairs playing. We gotta change some diapers and hit the road. What do you say, boys? Should we go in the bounce castle one more time before we go? Do you wanna jump, Cal? Go right in there, boys. And let's jump! Yay! Bye, Calvin. Okay, I'm watching. You ready, Jackson? Okay, here we go. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> Penny, do you want to jump? Do you want to jump with us, Penny? <laughs> okay, Penny, hop on into your home. Go on into your bed. Come on, girls. Jump on up. Well, that's not what I wanted. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for a wonderful week of fun so in the sun. That's exactly what we needed, we guys. We had so much fun. Thank you. It was awesome. Hey, Kyle. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> next week? Yeah, next week. Next week? Um, we'll just come back down because it's too cold up there yeah. still. <laughs> just move in. Just move into the guest house. Perfect. You got it. Seriously, go. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Awesome. So much fun. Are you ready for another road trip? I am. Let's do it. I, Jackson, are you ready? This so fun. Mm -hmm. And I like that it wasn't crazy far. Like we're still in Utah. It's just mm -hmm. five hours away. Yep. I love it. And what a crazy weather change, right? Yeah. That's just because about like what we were planning and stuff. Yeah. Like it's so intense and so bad. <laughs> mm. Like I love it, but I hate it. Yeah. Well, because you want. Like it's so intense. When you come up with an idea, like you want it to work out, and follow through. An idea. Like a plan. Yeah. I guess plan is better than idea. Wait, just so we're on the same page, you're talking about a baby. Yeah, about... <laughs> yeah it's like, you're talking about things that, like activities we wanted to do, and I'm like, um, like it's so intense right now. Well, it's life changing, you know, making that decision. Like, making the decision to have, to plan, you yeah. know. Jared and I, we have talked very openly about that we are getting ready of the thought of having another baby and we've been talking of like when we were getting ready to move boxes were everywhere and Jared got out of the shower and he was like I think we should have another baby and I was like uh no like I was like don't and I told him I was like I'm annoyed like don't even bring that up right now like 
it, well, it, it was a bad time of yeah. life right then. Yeah. Well, Calvin wasn't sleeping. Um, we were moving. <laughs> I was just like, no way. <laughs> Ellie's mind is in completely the opposite end of having a baby. <laughs> it's the last thing on her mind. And, and then, she's like, what? And then, <laughs> like, four months ago, I was like, very like, I think that we should have another baby. Like, I felt that desire and that I just felt like it was, I was, it was time to have another baby. And I, we want to grow our family. We would love a big family. We've always wanted that. And it was like, then it was like, then you weren't quite like ready. Yeah. And so we've just said, let's just like, we'll see. And our plan was always like, we would, and we always wanted to like start thinking about having another baby when Calvin was two. Two, yeah. And he turns two in two months. But I think at the same time, this has been a very hard decision and kind of a selfish, selfish decision because like, I don't necessarily want to get pregnant because I don't want to like miss out on some of the fun things that I want to do with the kids. Yeah. Like some something that I really, really wanted to do before I get pregnant again was to do like a family trip of everyone. And that's one of the reasons I really wanted to do this this week. Yeah. Was so like, I could go four wheeling with the boys so we could just be out in the sun and not be sick. And well, you know? since Jackson was born, like we haven't been able to do kind of those things until just now, like yeah. with all four of us. Yeah, because it was like we either had a baby or a baby, not a sleepy baby or nursing and you know, just being a parent and tired. Well, when Jackson, you know, was nine months old, we were pregnant with Calvin. And then we had that, all of that, that nine months and then we had a newborn. Yeah. We were able to still go on trips, but like a lot of the, you know, physical exerting things yeah. that we wanted to do, we couldn't. Well, I'm glad we were able to do this this week. And our birthdays are next month. And there's another real thing I really want to do with the whole family. And I'm hoping we can make it work next month for our birthdays. I feel like this was like the final, like, okay. <laughs> we, instead of just talking and thinking, like, I think that we will definitely, I think after April, we will be actively trying to have a baby. I think we want to have a baby. And it's been like one of the hardest decisions. Like, it was so easy with Jackson. It's like, we knew we wanted a baby from the beginning. And then even when he was three months old, like it sounds so crazy, but I was like, I'm ready for another baby. Like. I want to have my babies close. Yeah. And we had no idea we'd get pregnant when he was nine months old. <laughs> and it's the best thing. Like, they are best buds. I love having the two close. What a miracle. And it's not the the decision to have a baby is not difficult. It's when. Yes. That's the sure. difficult part. Like I said, because it's like I want to do all these things. I don't necessarily want to be sick. Mm -hmm. um, even this morning, like, I was, like, cleaning up our mess from the week. And I hadn't eaten breakfast yet, and I just, you know, that sick feeling you get. And I just thought, do I want to feel this way right now? Like, I had to sit down, had to, like, eat, which... Looking back, was that a, a hard part about your pregnancies? The nausea, morning sickness, those types and of I've things? And I've always had good pregnancies. Yeah. But I still felt sick and tired. Yeah, it's just, it, but it's that not was any never easier. a crazy issue. <laughs> yeah. And that's, I mean, that's the thing about pregnancies is each baby treats you a little bit different or each pregnancy affects you a little bit yeah. different. So you have no idea this baby, if it's a girl, know. you know, like could throw you for a total loop. <laughs> well, and I think another thing that's made it really hard is like, I know I want another baby, but Calvin was so hard the first year of yeah. reflux and not sleeping and you know, other issues, and that was just really <laughs> draining as a parent, and like even on our relationship, it yeah. was really hard on Jared and I. I think though, because of that, like, 
my stomach is like in <laughs> we we have the experience now like we know we what know to do more. and where to go and we have that experience and that's going to help us be better parents for this newborn you know yeah. the, a lot of times you go in completely blind and you don't know what to expect with different situations but now that we've had that experience if a, another baby's like that yeah we know what to do sooner than what we did with calvin and i think that even jackson may have had a little bit of reflux because yeah. we ended up stop nursing when he was like two or three months old and i just remember like fighting in the rocking chair like what is wrong whenever he would yeah. eat I so remember that being a hard decision for you to stop breastfeeding yeah. Jackson. And I remember that because in my time off when I was on Facebook, it brought up a picture of him and I remember taking that because he was just sad and I just remember like his little face. Gosh, like, aren't you so grateful that we have all of these videos to look back on, to look and see exactly how our pregnancies were and how our newborns were? like. And I wish that I would have talked about it even more. And I think I want to do that this time around. And I think part of it, and it's, that's what's kind of hard about sharing our life too, is like I remember I stopped talking after a few months of nursing and stuff because a lot of people were annoyed. They thought I was complaining, which half of it was, and half of it was just trying to explain the situation. Yeah, giving updates. And but that was a huge part of the first year of Calvin was like, I'm tired, he's crying, and nursing was really hard. And I want to talk about that even more, of the, the issues. And yeah. you, know, you want to go into detail about the things yeah. that you're going through. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I think want you to try should. And be better at that. Because you, you, there will be a time when maybe we have another baby where you want to look back and yeah. know exactly what you're feeling. What if we have twins? <laughs> Ellie wants twins. I think that would be so fun. stinking. That bad. would be so hard. And you know what I thought about at Ginger's house? She has double washer and dryers, and the laundry room is my absolute favorite room in our house because it was so fun to design. And this sounds crazy saying it, but I would redo the laundry room <laughs> if we had, if we ever had twins because I would want a double washer and dryer. And so I think I would take out the cabinet above and do doubles and then figure something out. But they're I would do that though. <laughs> their clothes are just so easy. But already so there's so much laundry just with us more. Uh, and Penny. I have Penny. It's true. It's because she Penny gets is, stuff so <laughs> she does. She gets her paws on you and you're like, well, I'm changing That's my washing. clothes. <laughs> I can't like describe like how I feel and how happy I am that like we're ready. Yeah. And like, I feel I like love right you. now, <laughs> you know? me and you are in a good place thinking about it and yeah. we're in a better place relationship wise than we were. Not that we were like in a terribly, terribly bad, but it was difficult when Calvin was having a hard time. Well, it's just hard to like balance. Like when you have little kids at home, yeah. you know, it's just hard to balance everybody. To put the focus on the husband's and wife's relationship. Yeah, yeah I see what you mean. I love our family and I, oh, me too. I can't wait to, to have to a little- To grow our family. To have a little Ellie running around. Or another little Jer, like how cute are our oh little Jer's already? <laughs> and Ellie, they look just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm, it's exciting to think about. But I think one of the things that we just, we have no idea about is like how long this is gonna take. With Jackson, yeah. it took a long time. With Calvin, just like that, like. But there was still like zero like there was no cycles, no like anything. And obviously there was an ovulation there that's we got pregnant with them, but it just was still weird though. Like as It just crazy. reaffirms to me how much of a miracle Calvin is. Yeah. Like let alone Jackson, but Calvin is like our miracle baby. Like, uh, I just love these boys. I just love my family so much. I really do. This was a fun week. This was so fun. This is rejuvenating for everyone. 
lots of vitamin D. <laughs> a lot of, you know, our friends were so selfless and let us stay at their house. Yeah. Like they but would, they, they, just re moved. <laughs> they refused to have us stay in like an Airbnb. They're like, no, you are staying in our house. I'm very they were grateful. so sweet. Eating their cereal. <sighs> now my stomach doesn't hurt as bad, just like talking it out. Yeah. I but, like having these conversations. But like, this is the feeling that I had like several weeks ago. Remember that whole day in the kitchen? Yes. I, at the end of the day, I, I physically feel sick to my stomach because my stomach has been in knots all day. Because that was the only thing on my mind. And like, I remember coming home from doing hair all day after like a week of it going on. And I, in my mind, I'd be doing hair and my mind would flip back like, mind would imagine like a little kid, like a little boy playing. And I remember telling Jared, like, I think that's my sign that I'm ready to have a baby. And then you said that you didn't have those same feelings all week at school. Yeah. Like that feeling of like, okay, we're gonna do this. That's crazy. I think we're feeling that right now, both of us. And the kids are so sweet to other kids, you know? each other well and I like, feel like it'll be a good transition for all of us it won't be like hard on them they're good <laughs> Jackson they're all sorry. every time we put Jackson down like <laughs> I'm gonna I I get emotional and if you guys don't no. if you're new to the oh look at Pacifica <laughs> if you're new to this channel like I think just anytime we talk about something that's just so sweet and special to us I just I just can't help but get emotional about it but I I was putting Jackson down to bed last night mm -hmm. I was I told him the story of what we went through to have him and he always asked and I tell me yeah that. I was like as a baby and I and I just relived all of those feelings and he said, was I a special boy? What? Why don't you tell me that? I said, because you were up. Yeah, I was up late editing. And I said, yeah, Jackson, you're our special boy. I mean, oh my gosh, like, and he just listened to the whole story and... He soaks it in. Yeah, he does. And I think he understands. I swear his mind is more in like an eight-year-old <laughs> body. Like, his mind is an eight-year-old, but his body is a three-year-old. Yeah. He just seems so, like, mature for his little body. I love our boys. And I love you, really. And I love you. Well, there you have it guys. Ellie and I are ready to start trying for a baby. That sounds so crazy to say, but so exciting at the same time. We're all home, we made a home safe and sound, the kids are asleep, Ellie is in bed, and Penny is going potty before she goes to bed. Um, this is gonna be the beginning of a new chapter in our lives and we're so excited to share it with you guys and have you come along for the ride. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.